Costco had a really good sale on this uh, Grand Leisure bench the other day, and I picked one up. Um, my wife says I'm a pain in the ass all the time, so I figured I'd get her something a little softer to sit on to relieve the pain. And uh, came came in a couple of days. Uh, you can see it was wrapped pretty good. Um, not much damage to the box, and um, it was a really good sale. It was like um, two hundred dollars off the price of the bench. Regular like five hundred, and that knocked it down to three hundred. So decided to try one, and I saw in the comments everyone said that there, or a lot of them said they're having trouble assembling it. The holes weren't in the right place, or you know this and that. So I decided to do a assembly video of it just to um, show you how it goes together and show you what problems you run into, and you know, really it wasn't that bad. Just one little issue. Where well, you can see it's really well made of very heavy aluminum. It's six feet tall. Um, first thing I'm going to do is remove the packaging. I mean, six feet long, and it was wrapped pretty good. But if the box did get hit in the side, it probably would have been trouble. And there's the hardware, just a couple pieces of hardware, and they give you this awesome little um, right angle driver there for tightening everything down. But that's the best part of this whole thing. Never got something like this. Uh, for assembly before really nice little wrench ratchets both ways and stuff so it should be fun now you gotta definitely want two people to put this together um, it's kinda tall and you're gonna need somebody to hold pieces while you're putting the screws in so I just tried to follow the directions and um, the bottom goes on to the two sides uh, you just have to put two screws in there and no problem getting them in. Um, the big slots in the in the seat there, so you know plenty of clearance even if the holes were off a little bit. And so that went together, you know, fairly easy. And then the back, you have to put a shorter screw in first before you go to put it in, and that slides into a slot in the back side. Now that's where the problems were. Um, First thing you want to make sure that you leave this screw backed out enough to clear the thickness of the aluminum tubing that has a slot that it slides in. Otherwise it will not slide in place. And the next thing is the, the diameter of the screws is almost, it's a little bit bigger than the keyhole slot that it drops into and locks into. So I couldn't really get it in place like that. Just kind of sitting there now. So, so I, you know, instead of playing with that, I just decided I'll throw the other side on. And again, you can see you, you gotta need a little bit of help, you know, somebody to hold it steady while you put it together. See, I couldn't get that to drop down in this slot, and it was backed out enough for the thickness. But um, no problem. I'll just put the other two screws in to, to hold the um that seat on the side legs. Everything's really nice, heavy aluminum, well made, and they did a beautiful job on the, um, like the old antique look finish powder coat. I think they said they brushed them out by hand. So that's pretty cool. So I couldn't get that to go in and drop in this slot, so I figured, okay, let's, let's turn it up where we can use gravity. So. Get it up like that, and I mean, you can see it's really, really big, heavy pieces, so you're going to need help. And I'll put those two screw heads in the keyhole slots, try to get them started. And then they should um, slide right down. Now that side, a little bit of one good bang, it went down in, no problem. A little bit tight, but this side I couldn't get down in. Um, turned out that there was like a burr on the corner of it, I think, stopping it. But I'll just start by, you know, throwing a screw in here. And uh, again, there was like a slot to put it in. So that we had plenty of clearance. Then I got out my Ford wrench and piece of the packing rubber. And you could see a couple taps and it went right down in there. and No problem. Big slots to line it up. So actually, um, I didn't have any problems so far. I'll show you the one last piece though in a second. I kind of went through and got that in there and got that tightened up. 
Yep, that little ratchet wrench really uh, makes this easy to do. But I found out later that tightening it up may not have been the best idea. So I flipped it up on the bottom and there's one more cross brace that goes on the bottom there. Um, it just goes into up from the bottom with two screws. Now I put the screw in one side and then I decide, okay, I'll throw it in the other side. But this is where I had the problem. It appeared that, you know, the spacing was too far apart on it. But then I realized, you know, the whole bench isn't perfect. All they have to do is loosen up the uh, the screws that I tightened. I should have left them a little loose in the beginning. And then that screw went right in. No problem. And um, just go back and tighten up everything else. And the bench is assembled. So really it takes about five minutes to put it together. And I will say for being an aluminum bench like this, it should last with that powder coat on there. And it is heavy. Um, really well made out of heavy material. And, uh, you know, all, all the threaded pieces are welded in. Uh, so they're thick and they're not going to strip out. So let's carry this up on the porch where it's going to go. Put it up there. And you can see it's, you know, it's six feet long. And they say it will hold uh, six or seven hundred pounds on it. You can get three people on it. And yes, you could easily get three on it. Or two people and a dog, we found out. But get that up in place there. And then the cushion comes that comes with it is a Sunbrella fabric. Really nice. Nice thick, and it's got a couple of Velcro straps that wrap around the upright in the back there. So it's easy to, you know, take out and um, really easy to care for, supposedly. And we did buy some Sunbrella pillows at Costco, too, we found the last trip. And actually, this thing is really comfortable. A little bit hard right now, but they say it'll break in. Um, she likes to pillow behind your back, but she's comfortable. No more pain in the butt, so I think I fixed that problem. Hello, everybody. So there it is. I just thought I'd show you. It really had no problems. Um, just a little bit of a tap there just because it was a little bit tight. Might have just been powder coat built up in that slot too. But everything went together nice. Looks nice. And it's really sturdy feeling and uh, extremely comfortable. And it's umbrella material so the, the cushion should last. And you can see it's you know flawless pretty much to finish on it. So I'm happy with it. And if you can find it on sale, I'd say go for it. I wouldn't pay the full price for it, but, you know, this was a good deal. Now, we got another problem up here. we got those carpenter bees getting up in our shade that rolls down there. I'm going to have to build a bee trap pretty soon. And these guys will be going out tomorrow. So, just about time now. Don't tell my wife. She said I couldn't have chickens, but I bought chickens. That same sale, they had these chickens on sale. And um, I probably could have made something like it, but I'm just too lazy. And I ordered chickens. And um, I got my chickens now. So this is what they look like. They're just some uh, cut out steel pieces that are powder coated. Came pretty well packaged. Um, same thing. They, they were from Costco. And, you know, I think it was like $19 for the three of them. So I figured I'll just grab them. And that was with shipping and stuff. So I got two two hens there, and then I got a rooster that identifies it a hen, I guess. And they do show you you need a pick to mount these things in the ground. I don't know what kind of ground they've got in China, but um, they push right in for me. That's what they look like. And Oh, yeah, I think I'll save this box. Look at that thing. I fit right in it. My wife can use that if I die. She can throw me in there and uh, just put me in the backyard in a big fire and burn me up. Save her a lot of money in the end. Um... But there it is. Everything's um, cleaned up now. And I just wanted to show you this uh, peony tree. It is really starting to get beautiful now. A couple more open today. And uh, things are starting to look healthy as it's starting to get warmer now. So I'm taking the old bench that was up by the, the deck there without any cushions on it or anything. This thing's like seven years old, I think. And it's been sitting out in the weather all the time. So... It was a really good bench, but it's uh, hard as a rock, so it's headed down to uh, the garden where, you know, I'll be able to use it to take a break and stuff like that. Not quite big enough for a nap, though. But let's take it down here. Use the loader. It's fairly heavy for plastic. 
And I set it right there next to the thing. And you can see I've still got my covers. I put these on at night, these old sheets and stuff. Let them dry out in the daytime. And uh, there's my chickens. So I did get my chickens, even though my wife said I couldn't have any. I'll surprise her when she sees them. Anyhow, I just wanted to, you know, make a quick video showing you how easy it really was to assemble that bench. So don't believe all the reviews from what I see, unless you get a bad one, I guess. But otherwise, uh, you know, that's what it looks like. And it's a beautiful bench, and we're real happy with it. So that's all I can say. Hopefully tomorrow I start planting everything out in the garden. Looks like warm weather is coming. And you just might need a extra hammer there for the assembly. But really that wrench does it all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.